guys all right in today's video we're going to be talking about how to create an ai agent using synflow and it took me kind of a while to really understand the whole process but i'm gonna to try to dumb it down as easy and as simple as possible so you can understand it so let's really get into it so yeah these are just like some regular agents some demo agents i made in the past but so here we're just gonna do create let's do assistant I always like to create it from scratch so we have like a better understanding of what we're trying to create here so we just start from scratch we're gonna do inbound this is gonna be a great use case for 24 7 inbound calls you can use it for like a call center you can use it for a help center you can use it for basically anything and it's and it runs 24 7 so yes let's start with inbound Here is how we configure the whole system. And I'm a big fan of Valley Girl. Like, I'm not going to lie. Valley Girl is my girl. And right here, it says there is a mismatch. All we're going to do is press change. And then press select. So as you can see, it's gone. And now Harris, where it says, what name will your assistant go by? You replace that with any name you specifically like. I'm going to say digital... Dash test inbound and here it's just like the advanced settings it's like I don't really play around this too much because I like to keep things very simple and as human as possible and when you start playing around with things it sounds almost less human and more robotic so I'll probably say try to keep it as simple as possible so yeah you want to go down here I've been playing around with this. I'll say GPT-4 is the best recommended one. Patience level, I like to go with almost medium. And right here, it says custom greeting, the opening line for your system's call. So just be like, hey, you call to put your company's name. So yeah, important to just like, you know, when you put your company, make sure it's spaced out so the AI can say it very properly so yeah on um, what else enable recordings this right here i'll say keep it on so you can always get like instant feedback as to like how your ai is performing so next we're going to go to something simple as prompts this is actually what i want to truly make the video on it's the prompts if you don't really necessarily do this correctly you have a lot of problems so i'm gonna guide you on a simple stuff that i learned that could easily make your ai assistant more like vocal and have more of a database where it doesn't mess up every five, six minutes. A cool feature I'll see that's really good to start with is this Ask Copilot. And this is where the real magic happens. So we're just gonna wait for it to load up. Copilot is like, how should I say this? It's basically like chat GPT. It's like you could make prompts and it's gonna spit out like more prompts for like, you know, your AI agent. So let's just say when it says type something, I'm gonna type in qualify and like I said you want to be very specific as problem as possible qualify leads what he's going to do now is press send and what it's basically going to do now is just create a script for us so we can just implement it right into our prompt and what I like to do is I like to look at these four significant questions right here so basically it's giving us a script like okay like these are specific questions they want to ask you about your business so when someone calls they know the right answers to take so this is what i like to do all you want to do is i'll say take this and now go to chat gpt and insert this script into chat gpt so all you want to do is go to chat gpt Type in the questions. Help. Ugh. Help me answer these questions. And you want to answer the questions. You can use the web. I'll put in your website that you have. So ChatGPT could scan all the information from it. Let me use this website for a accurate assessment. And 
finishes. Okay, so it finished the prompt. So all we're going to do is copy this. And this is a quick way to run these prompts. Yeah, this is a quick way to run these prompts. Go back to, and we're gonna do this. Put it back into our co-pilot. And then you wanna do shift return, and I was asking us another bunch of questions. Could you please provide the this information? And just press enter. So yeah, as you can see, like it basically gave us a prompt of like all the initial objections that would ever possibly come up within your business. But me, usually when it comes to AI, I like to be as vividly detailed as possible. So I like to say, you know what, give me some more, like add on, like basically go in more in depth with the prompt itself. So it's loading. Now let's, uh, and I like to do it one more time so it could be as descriptive as possible. So it's like if someone has an objection or someone has a question that's kind of like, I would probably say more in depth, the AI would have like a more solid detail idea of like, okay, like this is, you see, look, the prompt starts here. Great. Incorporate all the sections we discussed. And now look, it gave like an even more vivid description of our business. Usually if it says the prompt ends here and it says, move details or final prompt or do you want to provide more details be like no it usually takes like a second or two but it usually finishes like quickly after like 30 seconds it finished with the prompts gave us like a more in-depth Gave us the company information, the unique value proposition, the agent information, objection, more objection handling, call scripts, basically everything we need for our business. It kind of like described in details. And all we got to do is just, I never seen anything like this, but this is actually where the magic really does happen, where it's kind of just like, after like scraping our whole website, it gave an in-depth solution of like, okay, like this is what we could really provide for your business. So all we got to do is just insert this prompt into the knowledge base. So insert this prompt, new prompt saved, and here we go. All of it is in here already. At that, all we got to do now is just take out everything up here. And if you go to the bottom, just take out everything in the bottom that doesn't really fit into our business. So now that we got the prompt, everything is saved, everything looks good. I'll say here we just have to add a number. I have all sorts of numbers, but I'll choose like the best one I see. We just put a number in there. That's really just it for that. So when you go to deployment, you want to pick the number that matches. Pick the number that's good. This is gonna be the number that's gonna, gonna AI the AI is gonna use for SidFlow. So after we you know inserted our number, we just go to actions, and from the prompt that we put in, it could be be set for like cold transfers and information extractors so it could really extract from the information that we gave it for the calls that we receive so if there's ever like an objection or if there's anything that these customers need help with the ai would basically take from that database and just use it to help either the customers to book an appointment or to handle these objections and the custom action that's like almost where if you want to do something within the call you could say like okay like ask a few more questions you could do a custom action to like further along that that process within those these inbound calls so yeah this is actually connected to go high level so the crm sequence is set up with all these so basically when we get like these objections and we get these calls it's basically going to be set up in our own personal crm sequence and if you need help with this within your business if you want me to set up and do all the like you know the, the back end technical work just shoot me a message or I just even like go on my website, book a call, and I could do set it up all for you. And I think I'm going to just test it out the same number here. Yeah, let's test it out. I'm going to keep this video very simple and just try to set it up. Let's see. Just do the call. Put in the name. Put in the name. I'm going to put in the name. 
put in my number here. And now we just wait for a call and see how it goes. Let's test this out. Let's see if it's actually going to call me. Yeah, hello? Hey, you've called to Digital Dash. How may I assist you today? Yeah, I'm just called to see because I wanted help with automations. Got it. What specific challenges are you facing with your current marketing efforts? I'll say with my CRM, where I kind of want to, like, you know, obtain and, like, you know, qualify these leads. I see. So you're looking to improve how you obtain and qualify leads through your CRM. Are you currently using any specific tools or services for this? Um, no, not right now, but I'm looking into it as we speak. All right, good to know. What are your main goals for lead generation and conversion? I would probably say, like, advertisements. Got it. So, you're aiming to generate and convert leads through advertisements. Do you have a budget in mind for these marketing solutions? Uh, I don't know. What do you think is a good budget for me? It really depends on your business size and goals. Can you share a bit more about your current operations and what you're hoping to achieve? I'll say growth within one year. Great. So you're looking for significant growth within a year. Are you aiming to scale your operations as well? Definitely. Perfect. What timeline are you looking at for implementing these new marketing strategies? I would probably say a timeline from... What's a, what's a good timeline, do you think? Typically, a three to six month timeline is good for seeing initial results and making adjustments. Does that sound reasonable to you? Okay, that sounds good. Awesome. Would you like to set up a follow-up meeting with one of our consultants to dive deeper into your needs and create a tailored plan? Okay, what, what schedules do you have for me? I'll need to check the availability. Can you provide your email so we can send you the scheduling options? Okay, so my email is august123 at gmail.com. Got it. August123 at gmail.com. I'll have our team send you the scheduling option shortly. Anything else you'd like to discuss? Oh, no, that's it. Great. Thanks for reaching out. We'll be in touch soon. Have a fantastic day. Thank you. So, yeah, with that being said, all the information is going to go straight into my CRM sequence. So it could be dissected with my team. And I really do think that when it comes to like, you know, qualifying your leads or like a 24-hour support team, this, I'm not going to lie, this software is definitely good because it's 24 hours. It doesn't need breaks. Don't need no vacation time. Doesn't need no SOPs. It literally just takes with a span of like, what, 10 minutes at least? Like we literally been here for like, what, 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes? And all I did was just like do a couple prompts, do a couple like you know chat gpt prompts and that's really just kind of just it and i think with this software it's going to be really helpful in your business if you really want to implement it especially into the real estate business because it's all about catching up with these leads it's all about like being on top of it at every second of every day and i understand we're all human at the end of the day so it really it really is a work of art and this with integrated with go high level is a game changer because now it's kind of just like you don't got to pay for an assistant. You don't got to like do all these fancy little gimmicks. So if you want to, if you want someone to implement this and you want someone to actually like do all of this for you, just shoot a text in like one of my messages, just sign up on my website, book a meeting and I could definitely work something out. So see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day.